What's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Street Sweeper Shotgun, which was actually just released today. I know some people had it earlier on in the season because of a bug, but today was the full launch of the Street Sweeper Shotgun. And if you don't pay a lot of attention to Call of Duty, you might not have even known this was coming because they really didn't hype it or promote it really in any way. I just got on today and the Street Sweeper was here. In this gameplay, I'm going to be using a blueprint, which I purchased, but we're going to have the full build right here that you're going to want to use when you have the gun unlocked and fully leveled up. So for this gameplay, I was using the blueprint, which I purchased because I don't have the gun unlocked yet. But when you do unlock the gun and you have it fully leveled, these are the attachments you're going to want to be using. For your muzzle, definitely want the agency choke. This gives you sound suppression and it will tighten that pellet spread when you ADS. Definitely worth having the agency choke. For the barrels, a lot of people are going to think to go for this task force barrel because increased damage is insane. But if you're aware, like a lot of the Cold War attachments don't translate to Warzone correctly, so you don't actually get increased damage in Warzone. You're probably going to want to go for the Hammer Forged Barrel, which increases your fire rate. It's a similar circumstance that we had with the DMRs in Warzone, where the Titanium Barrel ends up being much faster than the Task Force Barrel. So you're going to bump up that fire rate to get your DPS up. Body, we're going to use the SWAT 5 milliwatt laser sight. Tighten your hip fire spread, pretty much a no-brainer in Warzone, or for shotguns. For your magazine, you're going to go want to go with the 18 round drum. All of the mag attachments for this are drums and they reload really slowly. So you want as much ammo as you can. That way you never have to be in a situation where you're forced to reload because the reload on this gun is extremely slow. Since we have 18 shells, you get to be pretty picky with when you want to reload. And it's very rare that you got to do a full reload from zero unless you end up putting stopping power in this weapon. And then for our final attachment, we're going to be using the Marathon Stock. This has a lot of movement speed attributes, and then it does decrease your hipfire accuracy, which sounds horrible, but it was tested, and it isn't actually that huge of a penalty to your hipfire. So you definitely want to go with the Marathon Stock on this Street Sweeper Shotgun. So those are going to be the attachments. Once again, Agency Choke, Hammer Forged Barrel for the increased fire rate, 5 milliwatt laser, 18 round drum, and then the Marathon Stock. So once you get this gun fully leveled and unlocked, that's what you're going to want to do. If you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you would like to see more, and comment down below what you think of this shotgun. So to unlock it, you need to get a five, or you need to get a three kill streak with a shotgun in 15 different matches. So you need to get three kills without dying, and then you can back out, and you need to do that 15 times. You can do this in Warzone, Plunder, or Cold War Multiplayer. If you don't own the full game, you're probably going to have to do it in Plunder, which is pretty scuffed. I bought the blueprint, some of the games I got on stream counted, but overall unlocking this gun is a time sink, unfortunately, and even if you buy the blueprint, you aren't able to customize it right away. You need to still unlock this challenge, or you still need to unlock the gun by doing the challenge. But once you've done the challenge and fully leveled the gun, you're left with a very high fire rate shotgun that actually kills pretty quick. Initially, I thought this gun was pretty garbage. I used it and I was just like, why would anyone want to waste their time with this when the MAC-10 and the Diamatis exist? Both those weapons melt very close or very well up close. But as I used it more and got more used to it, I actually think this weapon is quite good, but it's not nearly as overpowered or the Origin or the R9 as like either of those shotguns were because those shotguns had much better range than this one. The range on this gun really falls off a cliff. It kills very good or very bad. There's very little in between. Once you get like slightly out of its damage range, it's horrible. And its range seems to be much lower than the Origin or the R9's range were when those guns were meta. So this gun does melt up close, but you're very limited on range. It's very annoying to play against, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the gun is horrible. The gun is actually very good, but you're very limited. Typically in Call of Duty, the shotguns that do best are the shotguns that kind of overperform at certain ranges. The R9 was like that because of Dragon's Breath. With this gun, you really need to get up close to the opponents. It's really going to be good for pushing people camping in buildings or for camping in a building yourself. That's the double-edged sword of shotguns. Building combat in really close range awkward fights is where this gun excels. Outside of that, you're probably going to want to use the MAC-10. Uh, I think it's in an okay spot. It's annoying. It's very good. But so are the MAC-10 and the Diamatis. I don't think this is killing extremely faster than the MAC-10 or the Diamatis are. We just have another gun that's killing about as fast as them. Personally, I would prefer the MAC-10. I feel like shotguns require very little skill from the user. They're just kind of like the same for everybody. So like, if you're not that good at aiming or using the MAC-10, then this might be better for you. But if you're good with some machine guns, I think the MAC-10 is going to kill almost just as fast up close 
And you obviously have the added range on the MAC-10, so I still prefer the MAC-10, although the Street Sweeper Shotgun is definitely very good. Probably going to play around with it a bit more, and maybe my opinion will change, but that's what I think of it right now. It's definitely very good. You could say it's overpowered, but the top-tier weapons in the game are just really overpowered. Like, I would say the top-tier weapons in the game right now are the DMR-14, the Type 63, the MAC-10, the Diamati pistols, and the Street Sweeper. All of them kill way too fast, but... Those are the top weapons in the game right now. It's not like this is the only thing you can use. You could still use the MAC-10 or the Diamatis if you want to. I don't think this is going to change the meta too much unless the MAC-10 and the Diamatis get nerfed and this doesn't. That's like the main way in which things will change. Overall, it's an okay gun. It's too powerful, but there's a lot of guns that are too powerful in Warzone at the moment, so I don't find it to be a huge deal or a huge deal breaker. If you guys did enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'm going to let the gameplay play out. This is a win I recently got with the Street Sweeper Shotgun on stream so you guys can see how it plays. And I'll see you guys another time. Thanks for watching. I'll drive. Let's see what this guy does. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, Idiot. Ow, you lucky fuck. I like how he calls me a lucky fuck because the car blew up and killed him when he's the one who blew it up. And also, if he fucking didn't, like, I don't know. There's no reason for him to fight me there. Best case scenario for him is that I leave. And that he can just follow behind me. And that anybody in front of me gets focused on me. If anyone wants to clip that, that's great. But like, he just griefed so hard. Not a good fight for him to take. If you're edge like that, you don't want to fight. Especially if you're going to break the car. It's one thing if he kills me and then takes the car for himself. Like, that I can get behind and understand. The guy on this roof that's decent. Maybe not as in his car now. One v one. I don't know where he is. What is this guy doing, bro? I really, really do not know what he's doing or where he's going whatsoever. We have zone. I think he's under me. Got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Gas is closing this in. This is so extra, dude. The zones didn't move enough to force him to do anything. Like, I wish it went further over there.
I think it just closes after this. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. You gotta slot this bastard now. I think he's coming up this way. Jeez. I have no faith in that gun. <laughs> I wish I, I was like so wishing I had a Mac 10 there instead of this stupid street sweeper shotgun. 